Hey guys, it's me, Destiny. Uh, I'm just here to do a uh, unboxing for my new phone that I just got today, uh, the iPhone X or the iPhone 10. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like that I just got in the mail today. So this is what it looks like, the packaging, and this is what the back looks like as well. Let me see if I can fix that right there. So basically, just you know, words and stuff. The side, and then if I turn around like that. So the packaging looks like. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and let you guys see what it comes inside the box. And I got some accessories as well to go with my iPhone uh, that I ordered off of Amazon. If you guys can see this, I got a bunch of uh, different accessories that go with it. Um, I got a two cases. So this is an iPhone case right there, waterproof. And then this other case as well that I got. I have this other case that it kind of it's like a, a iPhone case that is a stand that you can stand it up as well that's not I don't think that's waterproof and then this is the wireless charging for my car and it's a stand for my car so I can you know hold it up in my car as well so it's wireless just to let you guys know the iPhone 10 is wireless charging so you don't have to weird, really um, worry about the cords anymore so that's kinda cool and then this is the wireless for the house uh, basically you guys can't see it it's just uh, you know basically the uh, wireless charging for that for the house uh, and then I got some wireless ear pods are in this box right here and then I have the regular wired uh, head, uh, heads phones as well so old school basically um, I really don't like the headphones that comes inside the boxes of the iPhones um, that they have they're like generic and they're not really good sound quality to to my standards so i always buy extra set of uh, earphones that i always like so basically just give you guys some accessory tips on what you know what i get and this is stuff is basically under budget for an iphone all this stuff is like basic basic under like a hundred dollars for all the accessories i picked out for amazon and i do work for amazon but i don't get any special treatment anything like that just to let you guys do know that um i pay for all this stuff <laughs> out of my money um and i paid off my phone so basically i paid a thousand dollars for this phone so i don't have to worry about you know pay making payment plans and all that kind of stuff uh i got it from virgin mobile off their online uh, online basically they don't have a store so you have to go online and purchase it so all I have to worry about is you know making the monthly payments and it's prepaid you have a prepaid card or you can pay with your credit card to do the monthly payments for your you know keep your phone on so that's what I'm doing I always do that with my phone before that I have an iPhone 6 uh, 6s so that's what my phone is right now so I'm upgrading I don't upgrade that often so just to let you guys do know I don't upgrade I only upgrade I had the iPhone 6 since college, so that was like five or six years that I had that phone. The only reason I upgrade now, because my phone, if you guys notice with iPhones, the battery life after years and years, if you're using it, it dies so quickly. You know, you charge it up, and then it only lasts for like 10 to 15 minutes. So that's what my phone is doing now. That's why I upgrade it to a newer phone. So, and then hopefully I have to upgrade into another five or four years from now. So. And this is waterproof. That's the good thing about this phone. So I have to worry about, even though I got a case, the only reason I got the case because it has a glass backing and it can crack. So that's why I always, always prepared myself with iPhones just in case. I, I'm not saying I'm clumsy, but I do drop in and I work in a warehouse. So I don't want to take that chance of breaking and then pay for a whole new phone. So that's why I always get cases on my iPhones. And just to let you guys know, you know, cases are good for your iPhone. It's not going to, you know, break it or do anything. It's supposed to protect it. So that's the whole purpose of the iPhone case if you do get one. And you could get the hard ones or you get the gel kind cases. So it's all up to you and your preference of what kind of case you do want. So I'm going to let you guys see the unboxing now. Let me stop rambling on about the iPhone. So I'm going to show you guys what comes in here now. This is what the iPhone... Uh iPhone X looks like inside the box it has a plastic uh, sheet over it so we're gonna take that off right now if I can without damaging it so it has this little film wrap it's not difficult to take off it's easy so now that's what it looks like with the film off the case base not off the case but off the box basically um, so we're just gonna try to open this up right now so that's a good thing only reason I got my uh, thing if I need to cut anything open but I doubt it so we're gonna put that away we don't want to get stabbed accidentally trying to do this so this is your instructions how to use the iPhone and the thing about 
the iPhone X, it's a little bit different. If you see right there, that's what it looks like. It's no home button. So that's going to take me a minute to get used to is the home button not being there. Um, so we're going to get it set up. We're going to take the stuff out the box first before we set it up. Uh, let's see. There we go. Gonna put that right there. And this is what comes inside the box. So you got your uh, charging uh, little box port right there. And then this is the headphones that you get. So I don't really like these, like I said, and it's, you know, wired. You can see the wires are not the ones you see in the box that's wireless. Those are a little bit more expensive, but they give you the basic. And it comes with the connector cord to the USB. If you notice on the iPhone, it doesn't have a jack. So you have to have this little connecting piece to uh, plug into the USB to plug in the regular, if you have wired um, headphones. So I'll, these are okay for now, but like I said, I don't like these because they hurt my ears. So that's why I always get my own uh, heads, headphones uh, for my stuff. And this is the wire that goes with the, you know, to charge it. But I said, like I said, this iPhone X is wireless. So I won't be using this that's much anyway. This is just in case something happens or I'm traveling. I don't have the wireless thing. I can still wire it up and plug it into the USB and plug it into the wall, basically. Um, but yeah, that's all it comes in. See, it's empty. That's it. Um, so we're going to put that away for right now. Um, so basically, this is all the stuff that you get in the box. The USB cord, uh, your headphones, um, the phone itself right there, and then your manual, you know, what you need to know how to set it up and all that. So we're going to get set up in a minute um, and show you how to connect everything, get all that stuff started. So we just select hello. We're going to select English. Yes. What region you're in. Yes, United States. Uh, quick setup uh, says if you have an iPhone running on this, okay. Basically, yeah, automatically sign in. Uh, set up manually, yes. I'm gonna do that, and then you know we're gonna select our Wi-Fi, so we're gonna do that. And we just uh, select our Wi-Fi right there. Yeah, so right now it says it take a couple few minutes to activate your phone. So that's what we're going to be waiting for. Yeah, it says, yeah, we're going to continue. Facial ID. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll do the facial uh, ID. So we uh, completed our facial ID right there. So we're done with that part. I didn't film that part because you guys probably don't want to see all that, basically. And then I set my code. So that's what we're going to do right now. So basically, you want to set up if you have anything, if you have an iPhone, or well, if you have a Mac computer, basically, uh, you would set up from your iCloud or whatever, or iTunes. So we're going to do the restore backup because I have my MacBook. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to plug up this. A phone to my MacBook and it's gonna you know download all my stuff from iTunes and all that all that information so give me that so we're gonna set up uh, Apple Pay right now as well we're gonna set up Siri right now and then we're gonna set up this true tone display basically it's gonna adapt to whatever elements so like if you're in a room it'll adapt to that kind of color and adjust the display brightness onto the phone so that's kind of cool so yeah we're gonna continue that and then go home, switch to apps, continue. Uh, quit, uh, yeah, basically we kind of set it up already. Yeah, and we're done basically. So we set up everything. Gotta go, uh, put my other apps on here. But yeah, this is what the phone looks like. You gotta swipe to the left and swipe to the right. So all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool to see on this phone is uh, the smoothness. And it does have a little bezel at the top, but you can't really even notice that. A lot of people complain about that, but I mean, it's not really a big thing to me, but it's no home button. So that's going to take me a minute to get used to is no home button on this uh, phone. So, but this phone is very smooth. If you turn around, you just look at it. Uh, that's the two um, dual cameras in the back and that's it. So yeah, it does have a little uh, fingerprints, but I'll clean it up and then I'll put the case on there. So I'm going to show you guys what the case looks like uh, after I get all the downloading done and stuff. So yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, we don't want that right now. Yeah. So. So we got our two cases here. Um, this one I'll show you right now. This one's like a little plastic. Basically, it has the back and front. 
Um, so you got plastic to cover the screen so it won't crack, and then you got the back so it won't crack either. So, and then this one's a little bit stir uh, sturdier as well. It's like you know it's plastic well, but it's like you know solid in the back. But this is like a spring, so basically you can stand it up if you want to watch movies, or whatever, with a friend or whoever. You do that. That's the thing about these teddies. This one doesn't have like a stand. It's just blank. This one has a stand. You can set it up basically with your phone. And they both fit. So I'm going to show you right now how they fit in both cases. So this is what the case looks like with this on. So it's fully in there. Uh, popped in. See it's super solid. So if I like do that it's, it's not going to break. So that's the good thing about this case. It's, it makes it a little bit heavier. But not that much heavier. It's not a big difference to me. Because I always have cases, and then if you look right here, you can pop this out and then plug your uh, USB right there. Plug in your USB, but like I said, this is wireless, but that's just in case if you're, you know, you don't have your wireless thing, you plug it up still to USB and plug in a wall. So, it covers everything, and like I said, this case is waterproof and snowproof, so if you go anywhere, uh, basically, um, it won't drop as much. I mean, you'll drop it, but you won't break the phone. So, I mean, it's covered and it's protected. That's the good thing about this case. It's really solid. So, so this is um, the headphones, the wired headphones. So, this is what it looks like um, out of the box. They give you a nice little bag to go, you know, put your headphones in there. It's a big bag. So, right there, that's what the bag looks like. And then they give you different adjustable earbuds. So, you change them out if, you know, you got big ears, small ears, and stuff like that. So, they come in this little bag, you adjust them. Usually, I stick with the ones they put on here. So, um, only reason I'll show you the difference, like, for this, like these. I don't like these because they hurt my ears like that. And, I, you know, and these are cushioned. So, they weren't going to hurt your ears as much. So, they're cushioned right there. These have no cushion. So, and they cut, pop onto my ear, too. So, I don't like that, too. Even with these right here, the wired ones, well, wireless ones. Basically, these are cushioned as well, and these are magnetic, so when you put them in the box, you can feel them magnetically connecting to that little box in there. So, you see this one, it still has a cushion too. So, these I like, and they're super dope. Um, and these are Bluetooth, so uh, all you have to do is pair them with your phone, and they're Bluetooth, and they, uh, they have a US, little USB in the back to charge these and keep them charged in that case. See, it says USB, so that's a good thing about that uh, wireless pair right there. Apple, I mean, they do a good job, and the, I think the wireless looks similar to this, you know, without the wire, you can see that. But this would be a good backup if I lose both of these or they break, I have a backup spare. But I usually just keep these in the box because I never use these things because, like I said, they hurt my ears. But I'll show you what it looks like plugged in with this wired uh, to the connector so you know what it looks like, how it's supposed to go. So this is what the uh, when you connect the USB, uh, USB connector to the headphones, the wired headphones, this is what it looks like. All you got to do, and like I said, see it just matches with the phone and matches with the uh, cases that I got that are black, basically. Uh, so I'll show you what it looks like with the case. Uh, if I, you know, show you right here, see it matches everything. If you have white and black, I just don't like that. Like I said, I have I like quite, um, color coordinated stuff. So. Everything matches with my stuff. So basically, and the good thing is, you know, and it's black. Everything in here is black, so I don't see that much scuffs or marks or whatever. So I like that. That's the good thing about black on black and black. Uh, I mean, you'll see dust and stuff if it gets in these cases. They're easy to, you know, just dust out. Use a little fiber uh, wipe like that and just clear it out. And that's it. That's basically all you got to do. Um, and that's it. Basically, this is uh, what everything looks like. I hope you liked that video. Uh, just make sure you leave a like and comment and subscribe to my channel because uh, I'm going to be doing more videos hopefully this year to keep doing everything. And I hope you do love the unboxing of the iPhone X. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.